It's called freebasing, a chemical process that turns cocaine commonly sold on the street into a much purer form, enabling the user to smoke it in a special pipe or sprinkle the white powder on a cigarette or marijuana joint. Federal drug officials say freebase cocaine is a growing fad. You have a tradition in Peru of smoking the base. So I think that's a possible thing for the future, a fad. Uh, we see it on the West Coast and perhaps here in Florida, too, of, of smoking the drug. Also, it's much cheaper to purchase the base in South America and smuggle it in the United States. So I think there's a possibility of a trend. It's still a little bit too early to tell. You think this is just the beginning of a future drug trend for this country? I think it could be because it's uh, an exotic drug. It's a different way of doing it. Uh, it doesn't uh, show up physically on the outer part of the body. So it's... Uh, there's a good reason to believe it could be a good trend to, to look towards. Freebase processing can be deadly. One common chemical used is ether, but ether can explode when it comes into contact with a flame. You're dealing with flammable solvents and chemical reagents that the general typical public or layman is not aware of the properties, the flammability, or the various characteristics of these compounds. And it can be quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Because of the large amount of cocaine smuggling through Miami, federal drug agents suspect this community will be a key area for the use and importation of cocaine base. Free base kits are openly advertised in national publications, such as this ad in High Times magazine. Here in Miami, they're a hot selling item in local head shops, especially since selling drug paraphernalia has been outlawed by the state legislature starting October 1st. The kits sell for under $20. Their chemical contents are unlabeled, they do, however, carry a flammable warning label, but the possible deadly nature of cocaine refining may pose a growing hazard as freebasing gains in popularity. Al Sunshine, Channel 4 News.